Are we simply going to wait? What if she never wakes up? Are those frilled collars stuffed in your ears? If the Watcher's mumblings are right, then Aethys is marching on Ukaizo. We have to move. He's seizing power from the very gods who betrayed him. Destroying the wheel to make sure they never come back. It's a coup, and we have to muster the strength to stop it. The unraveling of Kohopa from Tangaloa is our greatest test from the gods, I say. We must live to deserve the world they make for us. Well, there is some life in her still, but I do not know how her senses fare. Are you quite all right? You have been out of sorts since... Um, whatever that was. Join our talks, I say. Rational discussion will gust away the ominous smoke rising from Ashen Maw. The dead fire is no stranger to cataclysm. We can survive by cleaving to a shared purpose, a greater good, Akira. For what else did the gods place us here? We who have ships and resources enough to make a difference. What we need is brass. Rawatai has ships and cannons aplenty, but the only way I'm sending them is if... Ships have formed the blockade around Queen's birth. Their commander demands parley with Serpent's crown. What? B -b -b but what about our ships? I must get a message through to the captains. For what do our enemies paint a target on their hull? This is a stirring bid for my attention. Send word to my water shapers to drain the sea around the flagship. I would parley on better terms than this. My queen! They fly the colors of pirates! The Principia! are... Well, what have we here? Forgive me, lovesome, but it looks like you're having a party. A rather fine one to which you didn't invite me. You painted vagrants are a plague on my tribes. Why should I not hang you from the walls of my garden? You should be asking yourself how they got in here in the first place. I do love when they squabble. But I'm here for neither pleasantries nor entertainment. We've bigger fish to fry. Or should I say gods? Now everyone just calm down. I promise we won't fire on you at this time. Unless firstly provoked. That is... Until whence we've safely absconded from the city back to the high seas. Then all bets are off again, aye? It, yes! Well, if you have a point, pirate, I suggest you reach it quickly. We're supposed to take a bunch of pirates at their word? Right you are. However... I'm here because I've got questions, ones that can't wait. And they'll have some watchers, the only one likely to answer them nicely. Do you think so little of our chances? The Juana are built to outlast, I say. Deadfire's last cataclysm stripped the tribes of Ukaizo. This one will bring it back to us. All of this is meant to be. Ukaizo? What's the lost city of gold got to do with a god on a rampage?
Well, fuck, if that doesn't put things into perspective. But what's that even mean in the long run? Folks who die won't be coming back again. This is all dark and foreboding sounding. But what's it mean for my soul? I mean, I like the idea of pirating throughout the great beyond as much as the next gal. But if, say, I got no awareness after I die, does it even matter what happens? Ach, of course you have no interest past that of your eyes and your stomach. Let us speak now of what can be done, must be done. Watcher, you know best of all of us what our options are. If he's heading to Okaizo, then the time for speeches is over. We have to act quickly. Defending Okaizo is the highest priority. Our ships are fast and well equipped. We could sail to the edge of Andra's mortar. See if Aethys' passage opens a way through the storms. Of course, finding Okaizo once we're through is another matter. That's so. You just might be able to save us. We speak of collectively sailing for Andra's Mortar, but this crown will not support any plan that involves a single outsider ship landing on the shores of Ukaizo. It is for this moment that the gods test me. Anyone who seeks to cross Andra's Mortar will learn that the gates of Ukaizo are the end of compromise with the Juana. But do you not see? Their attachment to this fanciful mythology outpaces all reason. They would risk everything, all for the sake of some misremembered past. Getting the gist of it now. While these witless princocks go at each other's throats, we Principi will cut through the storms and plunder the city of gold. Whatever Aeothus is seeking in those ruins, we'll find it, and then we'll sell it to the highest bidder. That, or me and mine will have front row seats to the end of the world. If the Juana cannot take back our beginning, then our end fast approaches. The gods will judge us by our devotion to Ukaizo. Are you going to guard it as closely as you've guarded your palace today? Ukaizo was yours once, and you lost it. Meanwhile, the storms that cover Andra's mortar plague Rauatai too. We will help the Watchers stop Aethys. But we will not leave our country's future in soft hands. We hope the Watcher agrees. Watcher, there are two kinds of people in the Deadfire. Those who have called it home since time immemorial. And opportunists. With Ukaizo under our control, the Juana would restore order as it has not been seen since the days of our ancestors. Ak, order. And the only question is whether it will be the order of ignorance and tradition, or else of conquest. The secrets to be found in Ukaizo could elevate us all beyond the telling. I will not relinquish that dream so easily. Watcher, I say the time to play at freelancing is at an end. Any of us could get you to Ukaizo, but only one of us will stand by your side. Watcher, while we have the chance. Watcher, 
I would like to speak with you, if you have a moment. I appreciate your help with Giacolo. Without you, I could not have saved him. And it has made me think about the future of Anamansi, especially in the Republics. I know that my love of country may seem strange to you. At times, it even seems strange to me. The Republics are the only love I have ever known. I would give all that I have to them, to our people, to our future. It is not without cause, and it is not because I have lived a sheltered life in the Republics. I have seen much of the world, many beautiful cities, people, and cultures. I still believe in my heart that the Valian Republics will lead us into the future. There is a spirit between us, all of my people, that transcends individual citizens and leaders. It binds us together and carries us forward. It is what drives us to create, to learn, to push the boundaries of what we know about Aora, about the in-between, about the beyond itself. It is a spirit that lives in the heart of every Valian, and it is what gives me the strength to believe that Aora will see a better future. Gelade. You know the future the Republics can bring, just as you can see that the time may soon come when your hand will choose the fate of the people of the Dead Fire. When that time comes, I believe, I know, you will see the future as I do. Until then, Gores. in a day or two. Prince Aruihi enjoys wild tales. Gemstones of all kinds. 